Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with songs of praise. These words of the psalmist introduce us to the coming feast of thanksgiving, our national feast in which we are invited to raise our voices in grateful song so as to express our thanks to God for his many blessings. And yet, this particular year, we might say, where are those blessings? For me, the blessings come in the form of each one of you and all that you've done to support one another along the way. For me, that's the greatest blessing, that by our care and concern as neighbors, we've been able to support one another on the journey. And for that, we have much to be thankful for. These days of pandemic could be much worse if all we ever did was just think about ourselves and not worry about anybody else. But that hasn't been the case. We've actually been reaching out to one another, looking for new ways to support one another. And I'm especially grateful for all who are members of the Church of Syracuse, of this diocesan family, all the creative ways that you've done this so that, so that folks might know that they don't walk this way alone and ultimately to remind us that God is with us. So I just wanted to take a moment to tell you happy Thanksgiving because there is happiness knowing that people do care, that people do want what is best for each one of us. And just know that as a local church, we continue to want to do our best for you. And so as we prepare to, to transition from Thanksgiving to Advent, we want to help one another to wait in joyful hope. And so sisters and brothers, just know of our prayers for you at this time. Know that they are prayers of gratitude. And as we raise our voices and grateful songs, as our hearts continue to beat notes of love, please know that you are ever close in those thoughts and in those prayers. And that together we can we can continue to live as the body of Christ. We can continue to enter the Lord's courts and hopefully very soon we'll be able to do it all together.